New details now on the controversy surrounding President Obama's decision to skip a massive rally in Paris last week. Dozens of world leaders gathered for the event, but the president and other high-profile members of his administration, well, they were a no-show. The White House at one point claimed there was an issue with security. Well, Dan Bongino is a former Secret Service agent for President Obama and international security consultant, my guest now, out of Washington. How are you, Dan? Good morning. Good morning to you. I know we got some big problems with the rationale coming up from the White House. Let me take you back to Monday. And this sure. is, I think this is the specific point from Josh Ernest uh, that you were referring to. Listen to it here. This is uh, uh, obviously a, a march that, uh, the planning for which only began on Friday night, uh, and 36 hours later it had uh, begun. Uh, the, what's also clear is that the security requirements around a presidential level visit or even a vice presidential level visit uh, are onerous and significant. Now I want to point out that that was, I think it's one frankly of a long list of rationale and reasoning that, that has been given, but that security issue you've got a big problem with. Why? You know, Bill, you have a bunch of men and women who are special agents with the Secret Service who've pledged their lives, literally pledged their lives to keep this president and his family safe. And this constant throwing of the Secret Service under the bus, whether it was the White House tours closing during the sequester where he insinuated they were responsible, to blaming them for security on, the, uh, on this event, blaming the security arrangements for not attending, when it's so clearly not the case in my experience, is just beyond disingenuous. It almost speaks to a character issue in this White House and their inability to just say they screwed up. Well, what, uh, what would it take, Dan, for uh, 36 hours notice to, well, to make sure everything is safe? Um, yeah, they had more than 36 hours. He's being disingenuous in that. But keep in mind, Bill, and this may be a, a bad example, but it should illustrate the point nonetheless. The Mandela funeral, they had five days or less. And the Mandela funeral, I can tell you, from having done events like that, was a far worse security disaster uh, than this march in, in Paris. Now, uh, and they went there, and we saw what happened. I'm not saying I agree with these last-minute trips. I'm saying this, and this is the point you need to take from this. If the president wants to go, the president's going to go. No one's going to stop the president of the United States from going where he wants to go. That's only in the movies, Bill. Uh, they had a boss there and Netanyahu, who have threat footprints and, and, as and many as others. The they, they had at least 40 world leaders, but we have an embassy in Paris, right? And, right, and right, you we say we have yeah. a Secret Service office there as well? Right, we have a Secret Service office not even that far from the march. You know, this stuff has been done before. Places like Paris, New York City, uh, Los Angeles, where the Secret Service and uh, the security, uh, other security agencies have been before, Bill. A lot of the template for the security op is already there. And just to further highlight this, you know, we had these trips called storm stops where, where there were tornadoes uh, and the president would go last minute. You know, we would put the president on the ground with 48 hours notice in the middle of a storm zone with live electrical wires down and secure that. I did a trip to Afghanistan in a live war zone with the president with about five to seven days. So that's just nonsense. You know, the Secret Service is terrible. You know, they, they said, Ernest said we should have said, I mean, they capitulated. They should have sent somebody with a higher profile. But that was after a lot of other stuff was going on. I don't know if you saw a Politico was reporting the other day, but they were so caught off by the, the massive size and attention, they did not even ask the president whether or not he wanted to go or not. So I mean, you, you've got whole, that whole element uh, as well. But I think the issue you have is just be honest. Right. And, and, and tell us what the deal was. What were you thinking about? Just come forward it, with it. Exactly. I mean, you, you're making the point I, I've been trying to make for days now. They should have just left it at that. We should have sent someone with a higher profile or the president. We got caught off guard. The American people, Bill, as you've seen in politics in your time reporting, are very forgiving. We just had a lawmaker in Virginia get reelected from jail. Just say you screwed up, you were caught off guard, and move on. Instead of throwing security under the bus, knowing it's so completely disingenuous and dishonest that you're probably going to be called on. And on, on, on that last point, too, from the Daily Caller, you said this. My experience with his staff is they are just amateur hour. They don't yeah. know what's going on. There's really only one channel to him, Valerie Jarrett. Is that a universal feeling in your experience? 
Yeah, pretty much, Bill. It's like a cult of personality in the White House. I, I, I've been through three administrations, just the tail end of the Clintons, the Bush administration, the Obama administration. And it's, it's sad. There's, it's like a cult of personality where no one wants to tell uh, the boss, so to say, the president, no. And I think he wanted to watch football. And that was it. He was going to watch football. And he doesn't have that, that adult in the room to come in and say to him, listen, you need to go to this or you need to get someone off their butt to head over there. And, the, you know, the political damage from this, I think, is going to be uh, pretty substantial. Well, Dan Bongino, there's more football this weekend. Yeah, sure is. Thank you for your time out of Washington. 20